Welcome to Queen Deluxe. Let's do some vintage sewing. Hello, my lovelies. This time on Queen Deluxe, we finish my Regency gown. Here's the reference photo for the gown I'm working on. If you haven't caught the other videos in this series, go ahead and click the link. We're going to start with the center back of my bodice, which is pretty much the only construction points on this. Um, so I have flatlined my satin pieces to my silk um, peachy pink sections, and I'm going to be sewing that fiddle back together and the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are um, separate from the pinky silk. I will be sewing those separately. Pinned on my stitch line and now I'm going to be sewing those side back seams through all layers. Then I will sew all of the shoulder seams separately. So the satin layer to the and the pink layer separately. And then I will also be sewing my uh, lining, which is just a off-white muslin with this same technique. Now comes the skirt layer. I'm it's a basically a series of rectangles that I'm putting together maybe slightly trapezoidal in shape. Um, and so there's just a few um, seam allowances and they're at half inch and I'm just putting those together. Here is the small little bum pad that goes into this dress. I'm sewing it at a quarter inch seam allowance. I will flip and then stuff it with a little bit of scraps that I have around. Could also stuff it with some polyfill if I had any on hand, which I do not. Pandemic. did that. That was a big mistake. Let's talk screw ups. They happen. They happen more than you want them to. <laughs> I've made all the mistakes in my time as a, a customer, as a cutter draper, as a stitcher, and that's why I can impart my knowledge to you. Sometimes you make a mistake and it needs to go in timeout for a little bit and you need to work on something else so that thing can take a little moment and it knows what it did. It can just sit there and think about that. Sometimes you have a design opportunity because of some mistake that happened. That means that you can change or add something that you wouldn't have normally done and it's a happy accident. Sometimes that mistake causes you to just throw that project in the trash can, and that's okay. Kind of sucks, but you learned from it, and you won't make that mistake again. Sometimes you make a mistake, you get out your seam ripper, and you move on. That's kind of what happened this time. So I cut into my lining. It was tragic. I didn't have any more fabric because, you know, pandemic. So I decided to just patch it and move on. No one's gonna see it, it's on the inside, whatever. And it, it's, we are all human. Even in those old garments, you, think, you see things that have been patched and fixed and mistakes that have happened or rips that have happened because of wearing and they just fixed it and moved on. So let's not hold this costuming stuff to some crazy high expectation where mistakes are never made. That is not what happens. That is not real life. We pick up, we move on, and we keep going. All right, so I have pinned the skirt on to here, onto my lining. Lining, and I'm gonna sew that on my line. And we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna put this on a bigger, like, basting stitch. Let's see. I'm gonna take it off. Okay. 
Okay, here we have the back. Um, I have Our Lady on the dress form. So I have sewn, let's see if you can see it over here, sewn the skirt to the, the muslin under structure. And then this will get hand sewn on top. And this is what our back is looking like. So there's a little bit of the elastic cord that's in in the top of the bodice to suck it in a little bit, but it's not sewn down yet. I'm gonna do that while I watch TV tonight. So I have inserted that elastic cord and now I'm going to scooch it up to that top edge and do a little small back stitch all the way around, uh, along that neckline. Back on the dress form she goes to test some trims and see how everything is looking. I am not fond of the way the skirt is hanging, so I'm going to do a little research and see what I can do to fix that. It looks a little skimpy on the sides, um, and so I'm going to adjust that. back to good old patterns of fashion. So you can see here on the um, pattern that there are some pleats that happen at that side and then there's a double pleat under that section of gathering. Okay, so I have hand sewn all the trim on and I have decided to eliminate the bust pleats and just have it, it seems to be, we don't need them. So it seems to be smooth enough without anything. I've also added an elastic cord up in here and hand sewed the lace on at the top. The sleeves are just pinned in. I have this this trim sewn on on the sleeve cap. It's pinned. I think I like the way that it's looking. I also have the skirt basted on here. The skirt is basted on here and this flap will come down. And so I'm gonna sew this on by machine. I was just checking the hem level to make sure everything was okay. I have put the little pad back here. It's kicking it out nicely. Um, so I think it's time to set in the sleeves and put the skirt on for real and then it just needs a little bit of trim and the hem and closures and 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 but we're getting closer. Here I'm sewing the skirt on with its new pleats and uh, level. It looks a lot better on the dress form as you saw. So we're going to stitch that guy on for real and um, you get to watch in quick time. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could sew in this actual fast speed. <laughs> I get way more done. Now yeah, I'm just uh, finishing off the little edges of where the wrapper um, at the side fronts um, hits. So I cut a little strip uh, of the selvage um, of my fabric and I'm just going to do a quick little binding on those edges. So I sewed the raw edges together at 3 eighths of an inch, flip and turn those top edges, top and lower edges in, and then just top stitch that sucker down right on top of the selvage. It makes for a nice clean finish. All right, so here she is without the front apron of the skirt up, but the sleeves are basted in. That looks good. I think I can just stitch them. Do, 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 do. Do you want to see the back? I just need a press. But good enough for now. Okay, so hem. Here we are. I'm on the inside. I'm going to sew this the very edge. about 
I'm gonna line up the edge of the fabric with that little gold line there all the way around. And this is barely long enough, so I am probably should have cut a little extra length, but I don't have that much left over. I used almost every little bit of it, so I think it is what it is. I'm just folding the edge of that trim under and it almost matched up but not quite so I'm just covering that edge up um, and folding out that little um, flower out all the way so that it looks like it's a continuous piece of trim. So now just time for closures, hooks, hooks and eyes, and the trim that goes just around the waist here. And I've decided that I'm going to repeat the trim that was on the sleeve here right around the waist. Then I'll make a nice little tiny just detail. And I think she's done. I'll do a little photo shoot. Thanks for sewing with me this week. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Um, if you did, push all the buttons, like, and subscribe, share with a friend, and we'll see you next time. Bye.